Also new tonight, reaction from a transgender student at the center of a long fight over what bathroom to use in school. This is a case out of Gloucester County we've been following since last year. Then your size, Liz Palka, talked to Gavin Grimm earlier tonight, and Liz, he wasn't too happy with today's decision. Tom Grimm says it's going to be difficult starting another school year on Tuesday where he knows he will be singled out. Why? Because he identifies as a boy and wants to be able to use the men's restroom. Grimm will start his junior year at Gloucester High School on Tuesday. Earlier this summer, the ACLU filed a lawsuit on his behalf, and we were there as Grimm attended a hearing in July. This is all because the Gloucester County School Board passed a policy in December that had to do with Grimm. It said Grimm needed to use a bathroom that corresponds with the sex he was born with, or he can use a single stall bathroom or the nurse's bathroom. Today, a federal judge in Norfolk denied Grimm's preliminary injunction to be able to use the men's room while waiting for a trial. The teenager spoke to us from his home in Gloucester County today. I was disappointed that I'm going to have to face another school year of um, discomfort um, and um, discrimination. But, uh, you know, I've been in this battle and I'm in it for the long run. So I'm just looking towards the future for what happens next. The ACLU did say in a statement they plan to appeal this decision right away, and they expect it to be reversed. And this case isn't over yet. The ACLU added the court has not yet ruled on Grimm's claim under the 14th Amendment. I'm Liz Palka, 10 on your side.